Now, as far as musicians go, our first guest is quite simply one of the world's greatest rock stars. She found global fame as the front woman of Fleetwood Mac, one of the best-selling rock supergroups of all time, which really is no surprise when you have hit songs like this in your back catalogue. Ladies and gentlemen, she's here with us today, Stevie Nicks! <laughs> what, what kind of memories do those songs evoke for you? Because actually, it's, you're one of those bands that we can pin memories to all of your songs, but what are, they, what are yours? Me too. <laughs> what was going on with Lindsay and I was exactly what are in those songs. So they, when I see them, then my I go right back to what was happening at that time. Are they always happy? Happy times? Not always happy, but now I can look at them and see a lot more fun and happiness in them than I think I did when they were actually happening. Mm. You know, so now they're precious. At the time they were happening, they were just crazy. Well, yeah, you two were so turbulent, but it, but it created great art, didn't it? So it was kind of like great a tragedy, no pain, art. no gain. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does it pain, feel like it? Gain. Does it, Does it feel like it was yesterday to you when you looked there? You, are you straight back there? It, yeah. Oh, that's Absolutely. fantastic. Yeah. Because you know when you see a photograph, then that that's great. But you can go back a little bit. But when you see it on film, you can, then that yeah. really creates yeah. it. Then you really are right back in, remembering kind of what you were wearing and remembering those earrings and, you know, then it, then you really it brings it back. And yeah. what about now? What does it, how do you feel it's changed now? Do you, do you like it still? Like that business? Singing? I love it. Do you still? She goes, singing. Um, <laughs> I do? I, I love it. Do yeah. you? Otherwise, I wouldn't still be doing it. No. I would have, you know, moved on to some other artistic kind of endeavor. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I know I love it. And I love performing. I'm a performer, you know. I'm, you know, we're all talking about Beyonce. You're a performance artist. If you're a performance artist, you're going to have a lot of trouble giving it up because that's yeah. what you love to do since you were in the second grade. Yeah. If you're a, if you're just a, you know, like Christine McPhee, she's a pianist and she wanted to be one of the boys. So she wanted to be over there on the side. She was not at all unhappy when Lindsay and I came into the group and came in as lead singers because she didn't want to be out there with a microphone. She didn't want to do that. She didn't mm -hmm. want to dance and she wanted to play and she wanted to be one of the guys. And in a, in a good in a good way, because she was the only girl that was the great musician that was one of the guys and that was as much respected as, like, the Eric Claptons, you know, and the Lindsey Buckinghams and the Mick Fleetwoods. She was one of them. Mm. So she didn't want to be... She didn't want to be doing that. Well, you get the you're the focus of attention if you're in the front, yeah, aren't you? She how, didn't do want you that. How, do you, how do you feel about that? Is that well, something I love it because again, I'm a performance artist also. Um, so if you love that, you know, when I was like in four years old, I had a grandfather who sang country music, and my dad, you love this, you'll love this. Never mind <laughs> her. Um, <laughs> we had a bar. We owned a bar that was right across the street because my dad started working for Canadian Labatt's and Lucky Lager Beer when I was like really three years old and so my granddad used to me I used to stop there on the way home from school before like at four and he used <laughs> to put for me a up beer. A, yes you know for you to have a beer. well for kindergarten like you know no but I used to go into the bar before it opened you know and my granddad would sit me up on the table and I'd be like tap dancing and you know and 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 my dad would go like oh you were always gonna do off. what you do yeah always. pretty much well last night um Haley has emailed in. She was uh, she was in Hyde Park watching you with the uh, with the great Rod Stewart. She said, "How was it for you?" It was great. The only thing that wasn't great was the sun, the magnificent English sun that never yeah. showed itself for three weeks while I'd been here. That was just like this, and it was so bright that I was you know it was so disconcerting because it was so bright I couldn't see. Um, but the concert was fantastic. I just kept putting my hand in front of it, which you can cover the sun with your hand. Um, it was fantastic, and you don't we don't play that monstrous of shows that often. We play eight to 10,000, 10,000 to 15,000 people. That's way more than that. So that energy coming up off that energy is huge. And it's spectacular. I mean, there's no getting, you can't, 
You can't beat it, really. Mm -hmm. So it was fantastic. And really, I just wanted to come over here and play. So, you know, my record comes out tomorrow. Yes, we played records. yesterday. I mean, no, tomorrow. <laughs> today. Yeah. The record comes out today. Hey, <laughs> I'm jet lagged. Today still. or tomorrow? Right. It comes. It's, it's actually today, out Monday. Today. Yeah, today's, today's Monday. Today's Monday. Okay, yeah. it comes out today. But yesterday, it was coming out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Dyslexic, right? So, it's okay. out. So it's out, right. So we wanted, you know, I wanted to go on stage yesterday and just be completely rocking and fantastic. And because the record was coming out the right. next day. Right. right. Um, so anyway, you know, I... Uh, but so I think it happened. It's, it's called... Um, what is it called? It's in um, your dreams. In your dreams. The album's Can't in remember. your dreams and the secret, in your dreams. Is secret love. And secret love is a And you, you worked and on this record with Dave Stewart, who is just a great British singer-songwriter. Um, oh, I wish he was singer, here songwriter. with us. And you, you stole him away. Woman. He would love being here. He liked, he would, he he would love being here. Right company. here, yes, he would. He's a really bright guy, Dave. And when he dedicates himself to something, he's really, really committed. So you, you invited him over to your house, and he pretty much didn't leave for a year, did he? Pretty much. I mean, he did. He went home. But uh, he came like two, four, sometimes four times, sometimes five times a week. And we worked from three until, you know, midnight. We had catered dinners every night. So we were kind of like being in the 20s, like Coco Chanel and Man Ray and all the artists and the famous writers. Oh, wow. That's what we kind of did. So we, it was like we would call it in America in the 60s, a happening. It was a happening. It was beautiful. <laughs> Dave dresses up. So when Dave dresses up and he's filming, you dress, you ha you're forced to kind of dress up a little. Uh, or you look really See, dowdy next like to Dave, so you know? first thing in the morning, he's got a camera so in your face. Yes, he does. But and I, and I could have turned that down. Can I say, you wrote poetry, wrote, you write a lot I, of poetry. Yes. And as a performer, which is very extrovert, I'm fascinated that then that's very introverted. And Dave Stewart, actually, didn't he start you off with poetry the first time? I gave time him get... uh, 40 pages of poetry in January 2010. And he actually, surprised to me, read it. I was so That's thrilled why he and didn't so honored, you know. He thing. read it. And so he, he came over two weeks later and he said, basically, he's got his guitar around his neck and he's like, All right, I like this poem. And I'm like, You do, really? You read it? You actually read it. And so he says, Okay, let's go. And it's like, dun 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 dun, dun let's go. And I'm like, kind of sing songy reading my, my poem. And all of a sudden, in about 10 minutes, we had read a really fantastic song. Well here it is, we've got a, a clip from the video, so this, this is what started as a poem and ended up as sweet beautiful music. She was twirling her own batons in that. Oh, really? You? That's again. My well, mom taught me when I was like really so little. I don't even remember her teaching me. But I'm a really good baton twirler. So <laughs> of course Dave's like, well, could you let's play? Let's do some Any baton skills? twirling. Yeah. Sure, I mean, last night you weren't the only woman uh, playing a major festival. Uh, did you see um, any Beyonce set? Like yourself, I came home from my set when I should have like taken the shower, washed the hair, done the whole thing over for today sat on the table in front of the TV and watched the entire set of Beyonce. And, and by the mean... time, like yourself, it was over. I was, like, super exhausted. I was like, oh, my set was hard, but this set that I just did with Beyonce was, like, super <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm dancing. and I'm, you, you too, right? And it was, it was, it was like, I know her. I have known her since Bootylicious because she wrote Bootylicious from da 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 from my yeah. riff. So 50% Stevie Nicks, 50% Beyonce Fantastic. Knowles. So it's, we, and I know her from when she was a lot, so that was many years ago. So she, I've watched her grow up. So um, I saw her as a little twig girl, you know, whenever that was, many years ago. And I, and she, you know what, what I love about Beyonce is this. Beyonce in person is really no matter what her scant clothes, clothes are, and at 63 years old, I can totally relate to that. I said the same thing. You could have worn a really cute short skirt. I would have preferred it. I'm 63 years old. Um, she didn't. That's what she likes. She's young. Um, but at the same time, what she is is she is an absolute lady in person to me. She is gracious, beyond gracious. She stood there for a second and said, can I just take this in? because we as performers do not see it that often. Well, women certainly don't, but I tell you the reason... And it's like, I'm getting goosebumps. 
and she, her eyes filled up with tears. My eyes filled up with tears. So it's like that was a beautiful moment. And you know what? I believe in this business, and you girls have it. Your graciousness is what carries you. It isn't how old you are, how young you are, not me, how young you are, how beautiful you are, how short your skirt is. What it is is what comes out of your heart. And if you are gracious, you have won the game. Yeah. You certainly have. Thank you so much. Good luck with the record. Come and see us again. See you next, everyone. <laughs>